So this is Wolfstride, which tells the story of a bunch of lads entering a mecha tournament with a crappy old mecha they need to fix up. And it is a story, as well as a game, to the extent it gives you a sarcastic achievement the first time you skip a cutscene for hating art. Now, the game's a funny old mixture, because there's bits of turn-based combat, running around doing quests, lots of dialogue, a mixture of art styles, and it's also very rude, so cover your ears, Maureen. But it all gels together very well. And normally I talk non-stop in these videos, but I'll do that less here and just let it play where needed. It's a hard one to let's play, so rather than spend most of the videos in cutscenes, we're jumping in to around the 30 minute mark. This is published by Raw Fury, uh, thanks for giving me a preview key to check this out. I'm playing the full version, but there is also a demo on Steam. Right, Dead Sue, Born of the Broken Men. Right, here we are. Right, so let's um... Well, we need to we need to actually make some money. We need to, uh, we need to do various things, and we need to fix up the mech. And uh, we have a few tasks to do. I think we probably need to go to. Uh, let's try the hospital. See what's what. See if we can find any jobs or whatever here. Our current tasks: we've got to hire Z, C Z Z about the contract. Check on pineapples. Visit knife at the hospital. Luckily, that's exactly where we're going at the moment. Oh, hello. Let's check this. A, re a one real dollar bill. Ooh, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I just found a quid. <laughs> That's useful, isn't it? Some poo on the ground. Let's not worry about this. Right, to the hospit. This doesn't look very hospitular. This looks like a beach. Oh! Oh. Maybe the hospital's down there. <laughs> hmm. Hang on, what's this? Someone dropped a wallet here. I'm finding cash all over the place. Sorry, old man, but that's just the way it is. Don't bother none. Hmm, no cash inside. Hmm. I can make 150 quid on this fine leather alone. Alright. Onwards to the hospital with any luck. Parking meter. No cash in there. Oh, very small hospital. Alright. So this is the uh, mecha pilot who um, was inside the mecha when it blew up earlier. How are you? I'm okay. A little dizzy, I guess. Something to do with my ears. The doc said not to worry about it, though. Huh. Great news. Hey, seems like we got ourselves a real mechanic this time. What? Another one for the team? She's charging hell, but I got a good feeling about her. Nice. What about the cowboy? It'll be back on track in no time. Just leave it to us. Focus on getting the hell out of here. Sure thing, dude. Well, I'll be going then. I'm thinking about hitting the local bar today. Smoking and drinking? You should care more about your life, dude. I am. Hmm. Right, good. Onwards. So that's we can leave him behind. Let's try the hog yard. Ah, we'll ask about the bar, because that's what we're interested in. Ah, you're looking for a haven, am I right? Ah, uh, there's the rider nearby. Cool place. I used to be close pals with the previous owner. He sold the bar a few months ago, packed up his things, enjoying the breeze in Hawaii now. Can you imagine? Wish I could drop my stuff as well. Just gotta hold on a little longer. Anyway, I'll write you the directions. Thanks. Also, Joy, the new bartender. She's a good kid. You two might get along. Tell her I said hi. Ooh, the Midnight Rider is now available. All right, I think there's. I don't think there's anything much here. I think I, I had a bit of a route around to try and find 50 quid or whatever. There's a goat. Of course, there's a goat. Well, let's go and um, investigate this bar. See, see if we can get ourselves a little drinky booze. Should appear on the map now with any luck. Once we've navigated the long, long roads of this city. Anything there? No. Everything's worth a bit of a rummage in this game. You never know when you're going to find 50 quid. Or a goat. Right, here we go. So, Midnight Rider. Here we go. Hi. Mister. Would you be so kind to inform the servant where we are? You lost? Oh, no, mister. This servant is always on the path to greater fortune. This servant has not peed for the entire day. I'm about to explode. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Where? I guess there's one right behind you. Oh, indeed. You speak the truth. You're so very, very kind, mister. You're not gonna go? Where? The bathroom. Oh, no. If this servant perseveres just a bit, two days won't be impossible. I must endure for greater fortune. 
but thank you so kindly, mister. You're a good mister, mister. Let's just bail before this train derails. Well, there's a, a lot of dialogue about piss there. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Now that's more like it. Welcome to the rider, stranger. I'm feeling at home already. <laughs> Don't hold back. Welcome to the Midnight Rider. Keep an eye out for this one, trash. Don't stuff your face too much. And maybe you'll get a glimpse of what this place is all about. All right. What's in the juice box? That juice box is out of commission. It was like that when I arrived. Maybe I can fix it. Huh. Maybe I could pay you for that. We're missing old school music around here. Nobody knows how to play that fucking piano. Ah, uh, there's a piano. There's a play of it. Well, didn't expect to actually be able to play it. And I can't. <laughs> it is just a quick scene. Oh! Get away from the piano. Now! Alright, let's Dawson. All right, let's have a word with Joy. So, how's the movement around here? Dead. Sounds like a party. Every hour. So what's it gonna be? In fact, I've got a hunch. This one's on the house, stranger. Tell me if it fancies you. All right. What brings a guy like yourself to this rain hole? I came for a funeral. Yeah, that'll brighten up the mood. What about you? I heard you took over the place recently. Try my luck. Keeping food on the table? It's not really my thing, but it gets me to know people, hear stories. I'm in need of that right now. Fair enough. Here you go. Booze! One rum and cola coming up. Huh? How is it? Damn. You're good. You seem like a rum and cola guy to me. Me and this drink. We've got history. Cheers. Happy 2017. You better drink more than that. <laughs> I got a family to keep. Well, good thing I dropped by to show my support. Are they watching on TV? It's like Dr. Robotnik back there. So that was my quest to get um, a drink, apparently. Find a place to chill for once. And we still need to hire um, we still need to hire ZZ. Where the hell are you though? Possibly, well, I'm not sure there's anything we can do here. We've picked up a couple of interesting leads, but nothing concrete for the time being. So let's let's head back to... Let's, let's actually find ZZ. Where else have I not been? I haven't been to the crapyard. I think that might be where we find them. Is that a bus? I think it's a bus stop, isn't it? Oh, hang on. What was that? Five quid! Perfect! <laughs> Five quid. Five bloody quid. Ah, here we go. Sign contract. Cats or work? Oh, we could work. But let's sign the contract right. for now. Down to business then, honey. You're not gonna regret this. I'm the best one there is. I can assure you that. Now, let's get the paperwork out of the way. Sign here. Here. And here. Done. All right. Now we should start off by fixing that mess in a proper manner. I still got some stuff to do around here. Meet me later at the hangar. I'll walk you guys through the repairing process. And we've done all our jobby poos. Um, unfortunately, all our money is now pretty much gone. I actually didn't get a chance um, on the pre um, when I was playing through this earlier to actually have a look around here because it's just basically ends up putting you into a cutscene. So. Can't really find much else going on here, but there's a lot of these weird creatures. Can't remember what they are supposed to be either. Let's, let's just have another word word, see if we can actually do some work. So, I'm in need of a boy to deliver supply materials. Wink, wink. Oh, you can do that, can't you, honey? Just ride that bike over there and get it done before my clients die of waiting. BDSM is now available. Oh, no. All right. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. 
is a very fair point. Let's tootle on back to the hangar, see if we can actually look at the repairing process and have a proper look at our mech for the first time. Tootle on over. And that's how you do it. Got it? Yep. And what about you, killer hound? What? Oh, ah, uh, yes. I got it. You guys focus on getting him back into shape. I can't start working before I see the whole picture. Get rid of these metal bruises and straighten up those frames. I'll provide the needed materials on the spot. Do as you were told and it's going to be a smooth sail. Well, my job here is done for now. I'll be leaving then. See you around, darlings. You heard the witch, cat man. Just remind yourself that every hit will cost us money, so be mindful of your strikes. And also, be gentle. This is not about strength. <laughs> not that you got any. But if you end up damaging it, i kill you myself. Wait, I thought you were gonna fix it. I will. I just need you to take care of the surface levels. I'll be the one handling the hard stuff. Circuit, structure and such, that's all on me. You're just the makeup artist. I'm the doctor. You're the dermatologist. I'm the surgeon. You're the fly. I'm the shit-eating bacteria diving deep into this wondrous piece of crap. You're a poet. You're a dumbass. Get to work, Catman. And let me know when you want to call it a day. I'll rest for a bit now. So I think I'd probably have to just talk to him to finish things off. Oh, head unit destroyed. 200 quid. Oh, we can possibly repair this. Ha! 200 quid. Let's really go for it. There we go. Nice. We're looking a bit smarter now. Right, okay, so the head, head's done. Anything else we can do? Chest unit? Ooh, this is... All right. Only ten. Oh, that's not great. Hang on, try that again. Again. And again. Oh, no, that's fine. All done. Starting to look a bit better already. But we've still only got 676 quid. A lot of that is just from me rooting through the trash. Right, here we go. All completely buggered, isn't it? Thankfully, the... Yeah, that only cost a little bit of money at the end. Let's... We might even be able to, actually. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. We might be able to get most of this done. Fif only 50 more quid. Perfect. One more go. Is that it? Everything looks a bit nicer now, doesn't it? Is there any el anything else? I don't think there is. Nothing else is hissing and making a weird-ass noise now. I think we're good. Let's have a talk to the dog. <laughs> Done know. for the day, huh? All right, then. Let's hit the sack. Tomorrow is another one. Let's see what today brings. Oh, God. My apologies. Things got a little out of hand. Who are you guys again? The less you know, the better. We just came to see how you're doing. I was hoping I'd bump into that uh, friend of yours. Jade? Something like that. Well, it was unfortunate our pilot passed away. He had a weak heart from the start. Godworm should not be missed, though. He was a seven-star criminal. Did you know that? Mm. Larceny, fraud, blackmail, robbery, drug dealing, you name it. He wasn't a murderer, though. So, well, put your heart and mind to rest. The world is better off without him. Not that you killed him, anyway. His funeral was something of a rock star's. Really crowded. Seems like he had a few criminal fan clubs. That asshole. Too bad you had to get in the way of our plans. Huh? Nah, well, what the hell. Let me ask you a question, and we'll be on our way. Have you received any kind of proposal from the Soviets? Are you a communist? Because you sure as hell smell like one. No, I'm not a communist, dude. I don't know shit about the Soviets. What the hell is going on? Well, do you know anyone at all that has been in contact with the Soviets? Perhaps your shady friend? No, dude. I don't think so. Eh. All right. You seem to be telling the truth. Well, that's it, Mr. Knife Leopard. 
thank you for your cooperation. Uh, we hope to be hearing from you soon enough. We'll keep an eye out for you, just in case. Don't do anything you wouldn't do in front of your mother. Kill her! Let's leave the hillbilly alone. Hmm. Well. Whenever I wake and see your dumb face, I ask myself, where the hell did I take the wrong road? You're a poet, wizard. Maybe a songwriter. You should give it a try. I'd rather break a guitar on your neck. The hospital called. Said the kiddo is good to go. That's great. Damn right it is. I'm tired of being around you all day. Your stupidness is starting to rub off on me. I need some brains around here. I don't think Z will be coming today. I was talking about the kid. You shut your trap and let's go get him. To the hospital. Presumably. Sir, could you please put out your cigarette? I can't. It's eternal. The patient is still under observation. You should refrain from any physical endeavors and avoid situations of stress. May I remind you, your friend has been punched several times by a three-ton giant metal hand. It is the equivalent of surviving a sequence of several car crashes. That's how stupid this sport is. Don't get him back in there anytime soon. Never is the optimal choice. Oh. How are you, kiddo? Great. The dizziness is worn off. I think I'm good to go. I Hold your horses, kid. You heard the doc. Let's take it slow for a while. You may even use this time to get used to the idea of selling that robot and cashing in. Not gonna happen, dude. <sighs> okay, let's get back to the hangar. You go ahead. I need some fresh air. <sighs> Oh, hello. Oh, we're back at the bloody tree. Uh, now, was it right or left? <laughs> I think it was left to leave. Oh? What the? Hog's calling? How the hell did he get my number? Ah, uh, that you, son? Hey, why don't you come over? I got an irrefutable proposal right out of the money oven just for you. Ooh, the money oven. Right, to the money oven! Oh, box, boss hog, or whatever he's called. Right, so we need to go to Bounty Hog. That's the one, that's the name. Oh, hello, what was that? Nope, that was just a go sign. Okay, onwards. Ignoring the bins. We're not rooting around today. Unless people have been putting more money in the bin. But who knows? Oh boy, Mr. Shade. Right. Awesome timing. Just awesome. So, my nephew's come into town. We made a cool agreement that you may be interested in. I'm listening. He's coming the day after tomorrow, and he's bringing his wonderful robot with him. Fancy boy. So, we figured, hey, I can clear out some yards here and there, and voila. We got an arena. Of course, you can't have 80 meter tall robots fighting in your yard. <laughs> That's freaking illegal, you're thinking. But, it so happens, I am the man. I got the contacts. Friends in places so high you could mistake them for aliens. I got enemies too. I grabbed them by their sacks. With one squeeze, I... Anyway, it's happening. The day after tomorrow. Your big guy versus my nephew's fancy boy. What do you say? What's in it for us? <laughs> I like your style, son. I like it a lot. Nothing is for free. Not even a little thought. I'll be holding some bets. Gathering a crowd. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you well even if you end up taking a beating. It's all legal. <laughs> what do you say? Yep. Awesome! I knew you, my boy. You'll never disappoint. Hell, you might even be my forever lost child. Coming back after all this time. Well, I'll get back to you then. Don't forget, the day after tomorrow, all right? 9 p.m., 210 and 0. Fight night. It's going to happen. Good lord. Right, well, oh, <laughs> off we go. Catman, you gotta stop this madman. I'm dying of boredom, dude. I gotta do something. You should listen to the doc. I am. Doing nothing is stressing me out. I want a pilot again. Well, that's great to hear, because I got a proposal. Catman. There's a fight coming in. 
the day after tomorrow. Your opponent would be a guy named Fancy Jackass Warhol or something. I heard his mech is a pile of crap, but honestly, I've been hearing that a lot lately. I'm in. Wait, no, you freaking crazy bastards. Am I the only one who's got two brain cells to make a spark here? We were promised some cash, even if we lose. How much are we talking about? Why don't you discuss it with Hog? Make sure you get a good amount. You know I suck at this, right? Just go for the moon, wizard. Start from there and back down if you need to. I'm gonna strip him naked. Make sure I'm not around. Hell yeah, dude. I'm all pumped up. Let's do this. By the way, I've been thinking about it. We need a personal trainer for you. What? What? So you don't strain your body to hell. We need a pilot coach. Someone who can offer some guidance as to what you should do inside and even outside the mech. Sounds expensive as hell. A pilot coach? You mean like a boxing coach? Like Genji Kamigawa? I know nothing about that otaku talk, but yes, you need a coach. We're already working on the big guy. Now we need to make sure you won't die inside. You think we're some kind of millionaires? We were for some time, but no. I heard that there are some coach robots trending right now. Stuff like a robot that helps you get thin, or teaches you how to play tennis, or Krav Maga, whatever. You get the idea. We just need to find a model that fits our budget. A robot? Crazy cool, dude. Can I name it? I don't see why not. Super cool, dude. Uh. <laughs> He's a lad. So we need to probably just go to sleep for now. Oh, hello. I'm thinking about something classy like uh, James Charles. Eh, on second thought, it sounds like a butler's name. Nothing against butlers, but I don't think it should be a subservient robot or anything like that. It's got to have its own personality. Free will. You know it's just gonna run away if we do that, right? No, dude. We can be good to it, so it'll never want to leave. We can be a family. Like, maybe it should choose its own name. I like the sound of Marlene if it was a girl, though. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think we are pretty good for the day. You, go ahead and rest up. I'll keep an eye on the kiddo. I don't want this giant piece of junk to be wandering around in the middle of the night. Why do I always gotta act like his father? I'm only 32, you know. Nobody asked for that. I know, but I'm doing it anyway. We got a lot of work ahead of us today. I'm still working on the big guy's circuits and such. I could use a hand, though. Leave it to me, dude. I'll talk to the witch. See if she can help us out. Witch? It's our junior mechanic. She's helping me out. The other way around, but yes, you'll meet her soon enough. I'll be looking for your coach robot as well. That's it. Let's roll. So this has been just a little taste of Wolf Stride. It looks like our, um, our first proper fight is on day five. And so there's still quite a bit to do before then. Uh, after I mean, there's, there's one previous fight you have, but that's just like a, a quick tutorial fight, which is basically rigged. <laughs> and so I think you'll, you'll know whether you like this or not if you want to sit back and enjoy story more than um, actually the actual turn-based combat type stuff. And may we visit this to actually sample some of that out on video, but and let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Randomized User to be notified when new stuff goes live, about all the latest and best new indie games around, and I'll see you next time.